okay so i did some grinding and i think i want to get to the point where you can kind of i guess i don't either do synthesis because i know there's synthesis in this game or like do like the I, I guess monster breeding or something just to give me more stuff kind of like the fusion stuff in SMT So I'd like to unlock that because I technically caught everything In that forest except for the big Cyclops thing because I cannot fight that Oh and I changed the party a little bit because I found I found a dragon thorn and like these Roadrunner dragon looking lizard Ladies things and, gentlemen, and I wanted them the so I caught them the and um the, the other Hill, one is like pretty good at like defensive stuff I think it Stunner. learned it learned buff and then it, I guess it can learn cubuff And for some reason, the dragon thorn thing, it, it knows, like, the wind skills, I think. Like, whoosh. She got a saber. I want a saber cat cub. Now, on with the opening bout. Let's brawl. And then something learned, one of these things learned how to heal. I think it might be this, I don't know what it is. Now we can. Like, he learned the wind skills and stuff. Like, I think it learned whoosh or something. But it's magic or wisdom or whatever. It's really shitty. The silent stunner struts through the first round. Like, do we have this to do all of the no what you call it, and He's then the story begins, splash. or like the game opens but up? Who is he facing in round two? None other than Lady Long, draconic beast from the distant east. Watch out! She'll strike like lightning. That thing looks no crazy. It's time for the second bout. Let's brawl! I kept that thing because it no it knew sis it knows sis. And then I, cause I was like, oh it's the only like group group attack. Like it hits everything. I guess until I, until the dragon thorn learned whoosh, but I was like, you know, we're keeping it because hitting a whole party has its uses, you know. Round two goes to the silent stunner. Now that really was a ferociously fiery fight. But here's our man, cool as a cucumber. He doesn't look even remotely phased. Now for his last opponent, it's the trash-talking terror, the bequiffed basher, Gorgeous Gordon! Oh, that the- oh, the serpent- oh, he got a goodie bag. And the cat. It's time to head to our dramatic conclusion. Who will maul and who will bowl? Let the third and final bout begin! Let's brawl! Oh, that's what it means. Small S, small L is large. Okay, I was always wondering. I was like, what the heck? Is it like kind of the same like in that Final Fantasy game where it's like, if you have a large one, you only have like two large ones? Or something, and then, or or like one large, two small. Are they medium size? I guess only small and large. 
Take up more space. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, yo, no one said about it moving more than once. Once a turn. Can't attack like twice in a row. Okay, hey, wait, we're going to have to. Someone's gonna have to. Oh, never mind. You know what, though? I caught those two, like, bell pepper-looking things, and they are, like, the support. Because <laughs> they know how to heal. They know that apparently they can learn tingle, they can learn squelch. They can learn, like, a bunch of the healing moves. Of category F is... The Silent Stunner! Let's give him a big round of applause. And some cheers, too. Come on! I can't believe it! You're really something else! Here's your prize for winning category F. I don't even I don't even have any F ranked monsters. They're all G. A portion of monster munchies. It wouldn't surprise me if you won category S one day. I'm expecting big things from you, young man. Now if we win category S, do we get the puff puff? Like she's secretly a wall. How do you do? Oh, have I set the cat among the pigeons? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm perfectly friendly. My name is Fergil, talent spotter extraordinaire for the Monster Mauling Association. Tell me. Are you really fulfilled by this trifle of attorney? You could be squaring up to far mightier monsters at the Morlaceum in Nadiria. Oh my god, there's more tournaments. Seriously, I'm not kidding. So, fancy going and finding out for yourself? Yeah, sure. Music to my ears. Watch him now, watch it scam me. It's gonna idea, it's, it's just it's just like one big scam. This. That, my friend, is Travelite, a hallowed hunk of stone created by elves in the dim and distant past. Use it right, and you'll be able to travel to Nadiria at a stroke. It doesn't have like a teleporting thingamajig. Oh, if it's just a piece, do I get more of these? Now, I don't mean to let the cat out of the bag, but I understand there's an elf in your village. Who's snitching? <laughs> how the heck does this guy know? She'd be the perfect candidate to teach you how to use Travelite, so I suggest having a word. Mew -hoo -hoo. Well, I guess I'll catch you in Nadiria. Also, how long did it take for them to make this church tower? <laughs> this seems like big effort. And also, when you go inside, the rooms are all empty. So does that mean you, like, you, you gain followers? <gasps> That'd be kind of nice. I mean, you are a prince who wants to take revenge on your dad. So it'd be nice if, like, if you gain allies, you know, people who will help you, they just show up in this tower, like, this tower's the hub. And then they actually decorate it for me. Is there anything even down here? What? Is the item shop in here, too? Oh, you basically sell the same shit as the guy up there. Maybe you can upgrade this place. Maybe that's important later. Okay, yeah, I did so good. Came out on top of category F. I must make it. 
dinner extra special. Do we even have a kitchen here? You have something you want to show me? It's ever so pretty. Oh, wait. Is that what I... It is. It's a piece of travel light. Travel light was made by elves long, long ago to open the way to Nid Nidiria. It's the stuff of legend. How did you find the piece? I see. And he asked you to use it uh, to visit him there. Well, in that case, you'll need me to open the way for you. I'm about to perform a traditional elvish dance. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's been some time, though. I only hope I remember the steps. Is that literally what this room is? This one room is just for this one portal? Wow! Take a look outside! Like, we had this whole empty space and this is what it's used for? There were always legends back home that Travelite could open the way to Nadiria. To think they were true. My prince, um, did I, did that help? Why, how come, wh but yeah, it did, okay, but if, if that's outside, why, is this sunset -y, or is this, like, By the way, danger? Comes in other varieties. With the right kind, we could visit all sorts of places in Nadiria. Back in Rose Hill, I didn't venture outside my room, just as you asked. So oh, I was like, who's was we? <laughs> who's we? Seeing as we're in Nadiria now, where I'm safe from humans, maybe I could join you on your adventures here. Wait, she moved the whole ta the whole tower now is just in this place? Fine. <gasps> I'm just gonna be like a yes man. I'm just gonna I'm say yes. So pleased. Thank you ever so much. Or is this like Oh. Wait, did she actually join like a now, follower? Follower? If you want to go back to Terrestria, you can do so via the magic circle. But first, let's explore Nadiria. What? Well, we're still in the tower? Which is the tower? Maybe that's why there's an item shop and a bank in the basement? Because apparently we moved this entire tower. Oh, can you pet the cats? Kind of. I mean, you can talk to the cats. What the heck? <laughs> now I definitely feel like I got scammed. This place looks evil as hell. Gosh. So this is Nadiria. It sends a chill down my spine. Welcome one, welcome all. Ooh, 
Hey yo, you didn't tell us this place was kind of a shithole. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Fergie, official talent spotter for the Monster Mauling Association. Virgil, you say? Did you provide us with that travel light by any chance? Indeed. I'm happy to see you made good use of it. This is the Circle of Conquest, one of the six realms of Nadiria. Each realm is divided into three parts, which we call the Lower, Middle, and Upper Echelons. Right now, we're in the Lower Echelon. It's home to weak monsters. But that's fine for a fledgling monster wrangler such as yourself. So, that would make this the lower echelon of the Circle of Conquest. Is that right? Precisely! And at the heart of it all is the Mauler Seal, Nadiria's one and only battle arena. That's where monster wranglers from far and wide gather to test their skills in battle. And you should too. Didn't you say you wanted to enter a tournament at the Morlisseum? We should go and take a look. Could we go back to the other one and get S rank anyway? <gasps> the skeleton, the zombies. What? What is this? What is that? Oh. <laughs> Mad mollusk. It kind of looked like it looked like a gumi for a second, and I was like, "Oh, it's kind of cute." But then I saw it was like a worm thing, and I was like, "What? Okay, never mind. It's not as cute anymore." I can't. I can't believe there's no like fight wisely. Can the monsters not fight wisely? Are these all I can find here? I'm pretty sure this is gonna hurt me. Do I have to wait for it to freeze over in winter? Does it work on acid pools? The same way it does regular water. Is it like Pokemon where you probably have to wait until you like weaken it? But I can't see that they don't have health though, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how low they are. But I already used it up anyway. Well, apparently it it only took two hits for it. Yo! You know, maybe it worked as way more than before. Oh come on! Wait, is that? Oh, I thought that was a regular zombie. How are there no zombies in this? Well, not in this game. I saw a couple, but like in this area, at least you think if there's skeletons. Yeah, I want a skeleton, please. I feel like they'd be good attackers, you know, pretty balanced, even though they don't have a shield. Can I tell them though? Can you tell them they're like block? Oh, you can. So who has like lower attack? Or you know what I can do? Maybe get one. What's like? Oh, I can get. Oh, fuck. It makes it much easier to what? To what? To what the enemy? To what? To I guess confuse maybe because it says ultra crafty confuser. Sometimes they're something. Oh, what is that? What is that? I spy a dragon down there. Probably something like the Cyclops gonna whoop my butt. What the hell? What is it? Acid rain? What? Oh, the the the, uh, the liquid slime. I forgot what these are called. I know there's like the metals, my metal bubble slimes. Did they change the name? How can we tell if they oh, do these even do anything? These little wispy things. Okay, so ooh, look at this thing. I remember getting very annoyed with this thing in in builders. Okay, whatever. You know what? When we learn how to do the whole monster breeding thing. You know what? We'll just collect. Keep collecting for for that. 
Also, where the- Oh, treasure chest. But how can I tell if they're, like, large? The large version? Is it, like, when they're in the groups like that? Like, was that, like- Oh. I did not see this thing. Okay, now it's fall, so what the heck can I get in fall? Oh! The heck is- What is that? Hello? Oh. It's like Eye of the Beholder thing. Oh my god! A lunatic. Man, when's the when's the yokai watch supposed to? Didn't they remake the first one at least for the Switch? It's out in Japan. Okay, there's that thing. I guess that thing is new. I'm looking. Oh, the mushrooms. Fungool or something? Fung. Yeah, Fungool. See, look, I know some Dragon Quest stuff. Ooh, a ring of protection. So maybe you can climb up. You can climb up certain rock formations? There's whatever that is. There's a house over there. The. <gasps> the laboratorium? Okay, hold on. We're gonna try to catch the rest of these things that I'm missing, or the ones that I see. Hey, yo, how do I get up there, though? Oh, fuck. Turn around. Turn around! Thank you. Apparently, even that thing's tail has a- No! Ah! Even the thing's tail has a hitbox. What would be like, since we're just standing here waiting for winter time, what would be like, would be like, they need to port more 3DS games to the Switch. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, like if they had like Fire Emblem, like the Fire Emblem 3DS collection or whatever with Awakening, Fates, and heck, even Shadows of Valentia. I guess I wouldn't, I mean, I didn't like that game just because his party- all his party members were kind of- Like, especially that girl. Oh my gosh, she was like all over him. She just- like, her whole personality was just all in it. Like, it- it like, <laughs> turned me off from this game. I was like, if this girl's gonna be exactly like this the entire game. Cause she does like any support- like any support she has with any other character, it's like, oh, can we talk about Alm? Oh, I'd rather talk about Alm. Oh, I'd rather, like, girl, he's not interested. <laughs> he's not interested. I mean, Celico is nice, I guess. That and I didn't really care about their story. Like, I'm sorry. It's... Or they could do like the Wii, like the GameCube titles, like Path of Radiance HD, Radiant Dawn HD. Oh, but you know, the freaking uh, Ace Attorney whatever game coming. I forgot the Justice Trilogy, the whatever trilogy. Okay, what what they got? There's this. Oh, that's a wolf! Oh, it's like a zombie wolf. It's okay, it's still cute. I guess since the, the slime was there because it, it also knew how to heal. Although it was a little bit more well-rounded than the bell pepper thingies. Because, like, the bell peppers only know how to, like, heal and stuff. And, like, yeah, and heal status effects. But the slime actually learned, like, I think it could learn zap. I think it could learn... You can learn other things too. It like it learn yeah, I know. At least zap and maybe frizz, I think. Okay, where's the uh Was that the only thing that was oh god. Occasionally enter a frenzied still left for Oh, so I guess it's maybe like the psyching up. Or the or the pep the pep thing? Yeah, well, I can't find- I can't find any other- <laughs> I can't find anything else! Except for these dogs. I mean, I like dogs. 
No matter how messed up they look. <laughs> like that guy, like the guy from Castlevania, you know how he kept that weird zombie dog, I think? Like he looked all messed up and he like brought it back to life. I forgot, I forgot that guy's name. But I remember that was like a thing about him. Out of the out of the one season I watched of Castlevania, I, I I guess technically two and a half. I watched half of the second one. And I was talking to my friends about it. I was like, "Yo, Dracula did nothing wrong. <laughs> Dracula did nothing wrong, even though like." <laughs> I mean, even though he, like, you know, set the world on course for destruction and shit. Like, he would have left them all alone if they didn't kill his wife that way. Meow! <laughs> I hope you didn't have too tough a time getting here. So, how were the monsters? Did you have any trouble making new friends? Nope. Well, you say that, but you can't hide the truth from me. The denizens of this place won't join up with any old monster wrangler. Only those with a reputation. Well, I, I got a couple Most from here, in though. Nadiria have a big hitter, and beating them will do wonders for your reputation. But things are different here. You'll need to come out on top in Category G in the Molosian. Okay, so they have the ranks in this thing, too. So I guess maybe all the major areas just have a Coliseum tournament and thing. And if you win, you'll be able to bag yourself a great prize. So, there's plenty to fight for. I at least just want to get to the bit where we can, like, it like I guess the lab thing where you can, like, fuse them together or to whatever. The local monsters. I got some already! I'd like to learn more about this place. Like, I even, I even wasted, like, a whole four seasons just to get the other monsters. Hey, an orc! Yeah.